While surveying the site of some ancient ruins, two young archaeologists, Derek and Margot, and their nomad friend, Moki, find themselves trapped and sinking in a whirling pool of sand. And when the dust settles, they stare up in awe at a vast chamber filled with giant relics and artifacts from another civilization. And there, at the far end of the cavern, a door with a strange inscription. All who enter these portals pass through time. to all people, for the earth is filled with violence and corruption. Because of this, I am going to destroy both them and the earth. Thus, because wickedness abounded everywhere, mankind had condemned itself to extinction. In all the land, only Noah and his family were righteous. So the Lord commanded him to build an ark that they alone would survive. Hear that? Oh, it's just woodpeckers. Sounds like somebody's building something. Let's go see. Coming, Moki? Got a great dream going. A giant breakfast, pancakes and eggs and... But maybe they're building a house. Big deal. But a house means a kitchen. And a kitchen means food. Food? Oh, what are we waiting for? Wow, it sure is a biggie. But what kind of a house is that? It's round and upside down. It's not a house, it's a boat. Don't you realize what we're seeing? That's Noah building the ark. You're right, it is the ark. Come on, we've got to get down there. Oh, whoa, it's all the excitement. What's an ark? Oh! Push, everybody. Uh, have no fear, Moki is here. Are you all right? Oh, that was close. These young people kept those boards from falling on me. A rock rolled down and hit them. Probably with some help. My wife and I thank you. Well, it was the least we could do. I'm just glad we happened to be here. But why would anybody do that? Our neighbors think we are fools to build the ark. But there are so few of you. Yes, only eight of us. My wife and I and our three sons, Ham, Shem, and Japheth, and their wives. But it is the Lord's will. I'm Margo, and this is Derek, and this is Moki. And if we can help, we'd like to. You are welcome. But I must warn you, the work will be hard. Uh, I'm allergic to hard work. We have little time before huge floods shall sweep in and drown the earth. Floods? Let's get to work. The sooner, the better.
they are. Who? Our good neighbors to make their usual jokes. One day they'll go too far. <laughs> well, well, well. What do you suppose this is? Awfully big must be a barn. Right, a barn. And Noah is the biggest donkey of them all. <laughs> be gone about your business and leave us to ours. There he is. All bow down to the king of sawdust. <laughs> Please, sire, we're only poor ignorant farmers. Tell us again what you're going to float that barn on the do. <laughs> God hath warned, the mighty rain shall come. But if they do, you won't need a boat, Noah. Your head's hollow enough to keep you afloat. <laughs> they can't talk that way to you. Japheth, they're leaving. But they will return to jeer again. Give them not your anger, but your prayers, my son. For they are all doomed to a watery grave. A uh, wa watery grave? <sighs> realize it was going to be so huge. Big as an ocean liner. But it's missing one little thing, an ocean. But you heard, Noah, the rains are coming. Sure gonna take a whole lot of water to reach way up here in the mountains. There will be a lot of water. More rain and water than the Earth has ever known. But suppose it doesn't. You'll hear from that bunch of comedians. Yeah, your friendly neighborhood hecklers. What are you doing here? come to annoy us like the others? Hey, I'm your friend, remember? I think it's wonderful what you boys are doing for your father. Just wonderful. Uh, here, let me help. What are you after? Me? I'm not after anything. Uh, but something does bother me. Uh, what have you done for yourselves and your wives? You've all been so busy helping Noah. You haven't been able to do anything for yourselves. You have no land, no cattle, no chance to raise your families. It just doesn't seem fair to you young people. But the Ark is important. Yes, yes. But suppose, just suppose, the rains don't come. You, your wives, you'll have nothing. We obey Father. I have an idea. This is good lumber. I can arrange to trade it for land and cattle. Trade the lumber? Think about it. Let me know tomorrow. Your wives are entitled to something. The answer is no. You're making a mistake. You're being pig-headed. I hope you and your crazy father break your necks on that stupid boat. You fools, all of you. That's the last plank, father. The honor is yours. This great ark, commanded by God, built by men and women, I now pronounce complete. Yeah! One final task. We must now gather and bring aboard a pair of every living creature on Earth. Elephants? <laughs> Those were elephants, weren't they? Too dear. Oh, isn't that dough adorable? I'll come down later and make certain you have a nice stateroom. Two dogs? Oh, two fleas. Two hump. 
Yes. Make sure all the animals are bedded down comfortably. Because the great rains and floods come tomorrow. Tomorrow? That's what he said. Tomorrow. Come on, come on, you're gonna miss the boat. That's it. <laughs> hurry, hurry. Oh. 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 oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Look, she likes me. I'll have to think of a name for her. How about, hmm, Dolores? What's the matter, Derek? Did you look outside this morning? Not a cloud in the sky. And this is the day Noah said the gigantic rains would come. Maybe it'll start this afternoon. I hope so. For Noah's sake, but for everyone else out there, I don't know. That door's sure heavy. We'll have to figure some way to close it. What's the weather like? My eyes aren't what they used to be. Well, the horizon is dark with rain clouds, is it not? There are no clouds, Father. Not one? Father, even if the rains don't come, we still have all this fine lumber. The rains will come. <laughs> Glad you waited, Noah. We were afraid you might have floated off during the night before we could say goodbye. <laughs> Come on in, Noah. The water's great. <laughs> if you really think water's coming up here, you're drunker than I am. Hey, Noah, how many other monkeys you got in that zoo? <laughs> Pay no heed. The rains will come today. Of this, I am certain. They must come. He heard God's promise. But suppose, in all good faith, he didn't quite hear correctly. He's been so outraged by the wickedness in the village, perhaps he only heard what he wanted to hear. No, I believe him. Where are your rain clouds, Noah? I think he's got it all wrong. Your God isn't going to drown us. He's going to kill us with sunburn. <laughs> <laughs> that big wooden box full of animals would make a great Barbecue! Let's set it on fire! They wouldn't. Don't be so sure. There's the door. It's closing. It's the hand of God. Let's go drag them out of there. We can't. They're closing the door. We'll never be able to break through that. Well, we can still set the whole thing on fire. <laughs> set it on fire. On fire! one thing. I had my moments of doubt. I know, my son. It was a test of faith for all of us, even me. How long will the storm last? Forty days and forty nights. Go now. Comfort the animals. We're about to endure the mightiest tempest in the history of all creation. Where are you going? The fun's just beginning. We'll grab that crazy old fool and... Noah was right. We're all going to drown. It's just a passing shower. Come back, all of you. Come back. It's nothing. Noah's God is a sham, you hear me? A sham. There's nothing to be afraid of. Oh, thanks, I needed that. <laughs> it's, it's only the thunder. Oh, 
coming at us now. Be not vindictive, my son. True, they themselves were the cause of their own destruction, but I grieve for them and pray for their souls. The waves are reaching us. I'll alert everyone to be ready. I wish I could remember something besides now I lay me down to sleep. swimmer. All right, you're done, big fella. Oh, I knew there was some reason for that horn. Look, the doe. Derek, she's hurt her leg. We'll need a splint. I'll get a board and some bandages. Hurry, she's frightened. Don't be afraid, I've got you. Nice work, fellows. Remind me to give you some extra chow tonight. If we last that long. That should do it. Tell me, where do you keep the life rafts? What are life rafts? I was afraid you'd say that. There's still some leaks, Japheth. The water is up to the floorboards back there. We've started bailing it out. Derek's got a couple of friends helping. What do you think? I think her leg will heal, thanks to you. Oh, if this storm would only stop, she'd have a better chance of not banging it on something. Well, it can't last much longer. Where's little Moki? I haven't seen him around. Last I saw, he was taking some boards into the supply room. He's probably making some shelves. They'll be thankful somebody had the sense to make a life raft. Moki, wake up! I'm on the life raft! Ow! Ooh, I mean, what's up? Where, where are we? There's something strange going on. Feel it? I don't feel anything. That's what's so strange. Hey, hey, everybody, the storm's over. A total calm. What a beautiful sight. It could be even more beautiful. How? If I could just see one tiny little place to land. She'll have a better chance now that it's calm. But I guess we really won't know if it's mended until we reach land. Then we'll see if she can get around on it. When do you think that'll be? We'll have to ask Noah. Our food supply is getting low. How much longer before we land? How much longer will it be, Father? I... I don't know. But didn't God tell you? No. No, we must wait. I am not going to keep running up that ladder to look out the window no more. Good. I've been running up there every two seconds. That's over. Finished. You've got great willpower. After all, looking for land won't make it show up any quicker, right? The watch pot never boils. I'll just do my work and never even think of running up that ladder. Need more water here. Of course, you could go up and take a look. Uh, wouldn't be fair to you. Nothing. I tried to tell you. Do not despair. Surely the good Lord would not have saved us from the storm for us to perish in the calm. I shall release this raven. If he does not return, that will mean he found a place to roost and that there is land out there. Oh, I 
never thought that I could miss land so much. I even keep hoping I'll find sand in my spinach. I'm sure there's land out there. You'll see. That raven will never come back. Oh, well, <laughs> back to the spinach. Perhaps the dove you released today will find land. Perhaps. But the dove we sent last week found none, and our animal food is running low. We may have to take measures. You mean we may have to choose between those to feed and those to let die? Possibly. I suppose the elephants would have to go first. They consume so much. No, not the elephants. They are such wondrous creatures. They are all wondrous. Perhaps it would be more humane to slaughter the animals quickly now, rather than having them starve. It would be less painful. But I can't believe the good Lord intended for even one of his beloved creatures to perish. I'll get started. I suppose the larger animals first. She brought an olive twig. A fresh olive twig. God's sign. There is land and hope. I must show this to the others. The animals all have you to thank, little dove. It's been a whole week since the dove brought back that olive branch. And yesterday, the dove didn't come back at all, so there must be land. The dove must have fallen into the sea, for there's certainly nothing out there but water. Receive our thanks, O oh Lord, for your many blessings. If we are worthy, we pray you will soon reveal to us your clean new land. And if we are judged worthy to walk upon the earth again, we vow to serve you faithfully. Amen. to rest on the land again, Noah. God has found us worthy. I have to admire you, Moki. You didn't let that big storm frighten you one bit. Well, I just take them as they come. And the raft, who was that for? Uh, I just figured I'd have it handy, you know, just in case uh, any of you panicked. Oh, yes, of course. Here she comes. She's walking. Come on now, you can do better than that. That's it. That's the way to go. Go on now, you'll be fine. And have lots of little ones just as frisky as you are. Sure you don't need anything else? We'll be fine. Thanks for everything, Shem. Our thanks to you. Goodbye, Moki. Goodbye, all. Goodbye. Let us now give thanks to the Lord who reigns over the earth and the seas and who has delivered us. <gasps> Noah, look! A sign. Praise the Lord. And then God set his rainbow in the sky, saying, This sign is my promise that never again will there be a flood to destroy men from earth. So whenever the rainbow appears in the heavens above, you will see it and remember this everlasting covenant between me and all living creatures.